Gabby. And we're Nikki, Nikki and Gabby, Gabby Beauty from here, here on, on YouTube. YouTube. This chunk. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Nikki and I had really bad hair days this morning, so we tried like fixing it. Like, really work. Yeah. So basically in this video, we know that a lot of you guys are probably traveling right now for spring break. We wanted to do a whole traveling video. And as I was packing to Los Angeles and back from Los Angeles, I realized I had a sort of a pattern where, like how I packed and I want to share it with you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I pack my beauty products and Gabby's going to show you guys how she packs her clothes. And I'm going to show you two quick, cute, easy hairstyles to do when you're traveling and you don't feel like doing a cute hairstyle. And I'm going to show you my outfit and my makeup. And yeah, and I'm gonna show you guys my outfit too. Okay, so let's just get right into this video. Hey guys, so when I travel, I like to wear some makeup because I like to look presentable when I get off the plane. I'm using some Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, and I found that this foundation does not come off, and it stays on hourly and doesn't come off onto pillows or anything you're laying against. And I am just going to conceal the bags under my eyes from getting up so early in the morning. I don't know about you guys, but that annoys me. <laughs> and now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like I usually would, and I'm using a powder. So now I'm going to move to my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I like to contour and result to this whenever I'm traveling just because I don't like to apply a heavy amount of makeup. But contouring and slimming out my heart-shaped face kind of does the little quick fix for that day. This is also my favorite thing to bring while traveling just because there's two brushes in one and there's a place to put the brush into the palette so it saves a lot of room while packing and it offers a variety of colors. I'm a huge fan of this highlighter just because whenever I apply it, it's not too heavy and it's not too light and it gives a very pearly finish and I absolutely love the way it makes my cheeks shimmer and makes me look awake. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes before I do my eyes and I'm going to use some of the bronzer from the Kat Von D palette, put it in my crease and I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner and just lining my eyes because this stuff does not come off. It stays on so long and that's obviously what you need when you're going to travel. And now I'm going to move on to my Kat Von D Immortal Lash Mascara and this stuff I'm a huge fan of. I've been using this for about a year now and I'm going to use my Kat Von D Noble Studded Lipstick and it's this shade is just so perfect. The color Noble is so natural and you don't want to look like you're wearing too much when you're traveling. And now I'm just going to put a snap back on just because I have greasy hair. Hey guys, so when you're traveling, you don't really feel like doing a whole lot to your hair, so I'm going to show you how to do this really cute half up, half down hairstyle, which is kind of really trending right now. And basically all you do is you split your hair from the top to the bottom, and you just push up the front and pull out some baby hairs, and voila, super quick, super easy, and super adorable. The next super chill and super duper easy hairstyle I'm going to show you is this top knot and all you have to do is twist your hair into a bun on the top of your head, tie it off with a hair tie and then pull the bun apart to make sure it's cute and poofy and then finish it with some bobby pins to hold it in place. And then once you do that, you're going to want to make it look not so tight to your head so I push the hair up front and I take out some baby hairs which is something I always somehow kind of do I noticed. And yeah, that's how you guys do the top knot. When I pack my makeup, I like to pack it in the order of my everyday makeup routine so I don't forget anything. So I'm using my Sephora airbrush spray and the airbrush brush first and I'm putting that into my bag. And then I'm using my Tarte concealer because I obviously put that on after my foundation. And then I'm going to pack my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette because I use that next. And I personally find this palette so easy for traveling and I think it's great quality. And the Shade and Light brush has two brush ends on one brush so it doesn't take up a lot of room. And next I use my blush, so I'm packing my Mary Kay Citrus Bloom Blush, which has been my all-time favorite blush for a very long time now, and my Kat Von D Immortal Lash Mascara. Next I use eyeliner, so I'm packing my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This has been my favorite. I, it just stays on and I love it. And then I'm packing my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil for my eyebrows. And last but not least, for my lip, I'm packing my Kat Von D Jeffree Liquid Lip because it is the perfect bit of color for going away. 
how I pack is a little different, so I'm going to show you guys the little trick I use. I take my bigger objects and place it at the bottom. My big items could be anything from robes and towels to sweatshirts to jackets and to anything that could take up space, like my dog Lily, for example. Just kidding. <laughs> Wish I could bring her, but I'm going to take my thinner items and place it on top of my bigger items. My thinner items could be anything from blouses to bottoms to tanks to tees. You get the drift. And I'm going to leave a space to the left of that pile to put my pajamas in. And I say pajamas because they are so easy to fold up and squeeze down there. So I'm just going to place my pajamas into that little nook. And I'm going to take everything else like from underwear to socks and just squeeze it wherever I could find. Um, that sounds a little disorganized, but that's the way I go. And then I could put my extra little gadgets and socks into the little compartments that the suitcase offers. And it could be anything from socks to shower stuff to makeup to hair products. You get my drift. And then I lay on my bag to make sure it's not overflowing. While traveling, I like to be comfortable because I'm sitting around for a long time, but I also like to be cute, so I like to incorporate my pastel colors and girliness. I am using my cute spring bag from Target, my varsity jacket from Charlotte Russe, and my sunglasses from Icing, and a snapback from Target as well. So I love to look kind of cute and stay really casual as I'm traveling. So I am wearing my white Keds, which pretty much go with anything and they're super comfortable. And I'm wearing a olive green button up, which is really light from Francesca's with a denim jacket, which is light washed over top, which I got from Forever 21 and my super cute mirrored sunglasses from Francesca's. And I'm really loving this look. I love feeling on point while I'm traveling. It just literally puts me in like the best mood ever. <laughs> really hope you guys found this video really helpful, especially if you're going to be going on a trip soon. Please let us know on our social medias, which are right here, and let us know if, where you're going on vacation, because we really want to know yeah. where you're going on a spring, spring break, and if you have any pictures of really pretty tropical areas, please tag me in them so I can and see And me them. too! Be sure and to tag me too, because we are totally stuck in this polar vortex Nordic freeze on the East Coast, <laughs> and we just want spring and summer. So bad. So, you know, let us know. If you're going on spring break, tag us in your pictures. Um, leave a comment down below where you're going, and be sure to hashtag NNG spring break and like to show us where you're going. Oh, and also, I'm gonna add this out there. On my Twitter, I'm starting this new thing where every Friday from 4 to 5 p.m., you guys can ask me any question in the book of questions, and I will publicly answer them. On Mondays, I'm gonna start doing this thing called Subby of the Week. And for Subby of the Week, I'm basically gonna choose a random subscriber on Twitter. I'm gonna DM you guys, let you guys know your Subby of the Week. And throughout the week, I'll post things about you, tell people to follow you, post a picture of you, you get it. It's just a fun way to keep Mondays fun, I guess. And I'm kinda of trying to figure out what I'm doing with you guys. I wanna do something special like that too. So be sure to follow both of us. Gabby already has her thing that she's doing with you guys. And I'm gonna to try to figure out something I can do with you guys, so be sure to follow me too. She'll let you guys know soon. It's, yeah. It also says it in my bio if you forget. It says it in my Twitter bio. If you haven't done so already, be sure to follow us on social media. Be sure to show us your spring breaks, even if it's you just sitting in your backyard in the snow in a bikini wishing it was summer or spring. So just let us know. <laughs> we want to see what you guys are up to. Um, and yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. We'll so, see you guys, see you guys next, time. next time. That wasn't insane. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys see next time. time. Bye. Bye.